Chapter 4 MTP or MPO Style Connectors As promised, we will be introducing the MPO, Multi-Fiber Push-On Connector. The MPO is often referred to as an MTP connector. The MPO commonly provides, in a single connector, 12 or 24 fibers. Its many parts make it one of the more complex connectors to assemble, polish, and test. The MPO connector utilizes three polarity methods, type A, B, and C. All 12 fibers connecting straight through to another MPO or MTP connector is the type A polarity, reversed is type B polarity, and flipped type C polarity. Single-mode MPO cables must utilize the type A polarity only, while type B is preferred for multi-mode cables. Our two-minute video was created to promote FIS product, but provides insight to the complexities of a factory-completed connector. This will be followed by a video that shows the process of inspecting an MPO connector with an Exfo video inspection probe. This will complete our connector presentation. High-density fiber optic applications requiring MPO MTP style connectors of 12 and 24 fibers presents many new connector assembly and hookup considerations. The expectation is to enable a single composite ferrule to successfully create a light connection of multiple fibers is a high expectation. To consistently assemble an MPO connector, the following developments were required. Specialized heat curing ovens providing horizontal positions instead of vertical, and temperature control and curing time are carefully monitored. Complex holding fixtures for the polisher introducing adjustable pressure points for each connector, enabling the desirable required polish of UPC or APC. Inspecting the geometric polished connectors calls for visual and interferomic test capabilities. Establishing proper fiber orientation of a male and female connector position was required to be incorporated. Style A, B, and C fiber locations within the ferrule's positions had to be defined. A special tool to convert male to female's ends now exist. A MPO power meter and light source, or a test set, to establish all fibers were performing to acceptable standards. Each test set contains 12 lasers and 12 detectors, confirming styles A, B, or C, and that no cross-connects occur only by the push of a button. Test set is complete with reporting capabilities. Visual red light 850 nanometer laser systems are now in development. All test equipment and heat ovens are manufactured by Fiber Instrument Sales, available for immediate delivery. All right, how's everyone doing out there? I hope we're all staying healthy and happy. Uh, John Bruno here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of uh, some tech tips here. And we're gonna start with one of them, uh, which is one of my favorite products, is the Exfo uh, Microscope. And I get a lot of questions on how do I, uh, how do, I do end face analysis of uh, MPO or MTP connections. And one of the things I wanna point out is uh, Exfo makes an, an excellent uh, microscope probe. One of the things you're going to notice, if you had bought one in the past, uh, and it's a little bit older, you're going to see a metallic body here, and basically nothing here indicating that it'll do MPOs. This is not set up, this uh, FIP is not set to do the MPOs. You will see, and I'll get this out of the way because we're not going to want to use that, you're going to see on the newer models, and it's been a little while, so... Um, the one thing you want to do is just check to see if you have this but uh, you'll see on the collar here it says mf ready uh, that's for your multi-fiber tip so this is the uh, probe that you're going to want to have it's got a little notch to hold the the adapter and uh this guy here here's your adapter it would come in this case this is actually two pieces this piece just screws in for sake of time i'll save you that but this is their mpo probe tip so when you do the MPOs you're going to have to get the microscope and you're gonna to have to get this piece here and what we do is we take off our normal tip and there's a little uh, notch here and there's a, uh, a male and a female version and we're gonna push down on that notch and we're gonna slide this collar up and screw it into place and we'll get this adapter here and now we're ready to go I've got a sample cable here that we can test. Uh, you're also going to see uh, 
for the female version here, uh, this is an adapter that goes on the end for our female cables. And we're ready to test. Um, when we come over here to the Expo unit. All right, so we fired up our Expo TDR here. I've got my probe and it's wireless. You're gonna notice a, a USB cable here. My battery, I looked, it was a little bit low and I didn't want it to go out in the middle of this uh, presentation. So we're just using that for the power. But when we first fire up the Max Tester here, it'll identify itself and link to this unit. Uh, you're gonna notice here that it has a little bit of a trigger here and we have three positions. You can see a little window for the positions. This is this probe will actually capture four fibers at a time. So the four positions are fiber one through four, five through eight, and nine through 12. So we're just gonna notch across to do the different positions. So if you've ever taken any of my classes or see my videos, you know I'm a clean freak about stuff, but we're gonna just look at this guy, sight unseen, no cleanliness, let's see what we got here. And when we, when we do this, we push a little tab in here and we plug in and that will secure that to the unit. And you're going to start seeing here, the unit is doing its auto focusing. And we're gonna see right here in the screen, there's our first four. Boy, these fibers are terrible, aren't they? You can see a little bit of the alignment hole here. This is a female, so you can see the, the hole there. But you can see my first four fibers. And in our setups, and I won't go too deep, but if we go into our uh, user preferences, there's a couple things we can set up here. If you do have this on a different unit, you can do individuals, but we're, we've set this up to do the fours. Um, other preferences are uh, don't continue if there's a failure. So if you see a bad connector, it won't have you go to the next four because it knows it already failed. Uh, I've got certain things set up and you can play with that again. It's in the user uh, preferences, but there's my first four. And what we would do is hopefully you wouldn't even video capture this because it's so terrible, but we would capture these four and you can see it's saving and evaluating each end, which are terrible. And then what we would do we was pull my trigger back to the next four. And we would capture the middle four here. And then we would go to my third position. Let's finish this before we move it. Boy, it doesn't like these fibers at all. And then we're gonna slide over to the fourth I'm sorry, the last fork uh, fibers. And you can see again, there's your female port here for the alignment pin on the other side. And we would capture these. And then we can go into our report software and see the IEC standard end face evaluation for these. So that was just a quick little uh, rundown on how to use this unit. Uh, another little point that I would like to show you here is, well, John, what about the males? Well, we can take this adapter off and put another adapter on. And this is set to do the male connections. Here's my male MPO connector. And what we can do is plug in the male and go through that same process. So hopefully this helps you out a little bit, makes you understand how to do the RN face analysis. And remember, clean, clean, clean. I know I didn't clean it in the beginning here. I just wanted to show you a, a nasty, uh, not real pretty end face. This cable would definitely not pass. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching this video. There are more free training videos. Go to the playlist by clicking the top right.